Oh, to see how I hear this. Okay, we're going to look at a little bit up here at the screen today. I've got some things I want to show you. What's that? Hannah? A present. Have you ever gotten any presents like that? Now, are you usually happy when you get a present? Yeah, okay. You think when you have a present that you would do this? What is there? What happened to that present? I think somebody dropped it. I think it looks as though they tried to bury it. You don't bury gifts, do you? You get a gift. What do you do? You can open it. Like that. You open a gift. Of course. It's for you. Why wouldn't you open a gift? Okay. Got another thing here. Look at you. Will people look happy? What do you think? What's in their hands? A check. Where do you go? It's a check for her. It's over $2 million. I think they won the lottery. Any of you ever won the lottery? Uh, Jen has. Okay. Uh, Jen, I bet you, did you do this with your lottery ticket? Did you go bury everything under your mattress? I did it for all $2 that was worth. <laughs> Well, I bet you if we won $2 million, we would not bury the money under our mattress, right? I would. We, you would. <laughs> it's not going to do you any good. What good does it do under the, under the mattress? You know, when you get safe, but you can't use it. Don't you want to get that kind of money? Don't you want to do this? You want to spend it. Put it to use. Even if you put it in the bank, that much money, you want to earn interest. That's putting it to use. Your money is working. Okay, you get a gift. You want to open it. You win the lottery. You get to spend it. Oh, what's sitting there? Bike, that's a new bike. You get a bike? Yeah, you get a bike for your birthday. What do you do with your bike? Do you leave it in the garage like this? No, you don't leave it. Good bike's not doing anybody good. Somebody gave you a bike because they want you to put it to good use. So you do this. You ride your bike. We get these gifts in our life, these good things, and we're meant to use them, to spend them, to invest them. That's exactly what St. John is talking about today in our first, what's the first reading? Somebody want to read that for me nice and loud? Hannah? We love because he first loved us. John is reminding us that, who's the he? Who's the he here? God. God in whom? The magic word in every children's message. You guys know it. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, God loves us in Jesus first. It's a gift. So that we get to love others. It's like getting a gift. And you open it. It's like winning the lottery and you spend it. It's like getting a bike and you ride it. And Jesus loves you and you get to love others. And when you go back to your seats this morning, I just want you to think a little bit about maybe the times this week or last week when you, when you did that. And you know, I bet, just like when you open a gift, win a lottery ticket or get to ride a bike, you love somebody and it was something you wanted to do. It was, what do we say? Hey, get to. Yes. Because he first loved us. Loving others is never something we got to do. No, because of Jesus. It is fun. It is a get to. Okay, boys and girls, let's come up here. We're going to do our little prayer this morning. Let's make our... Prayer circle, everybody hold hands. Come here, Owen. All right. Glad, Owen, you're wearing your name tag. Good for you. So are the, these people over here. I don't see too many name tags out there. That's okay. We'll love you anyway. All uh, right. Okay, we'll do our echo prayer. You guys repeat after me, okay? And the rest of you kids can too. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the winning lottery ticket. 
Thank you for the new bike. Thank you for, the new bike. Thank you for loving us. And your beloved son, Jesus Christ. Because he first loved us. Help us to realize that loving someone else is a get to. And for that, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, thank you very much, guys.